Hello, hello. Welcome back, everybody. How are you today? Good evening, teacher. Hey, hello. Good evening, Gabriela. How are you? I'm fine, teacher. <laughs> excellent, excellent. I'm happy to hear that. Welcome back, Guadalupe. Hello, Daniela. Hello, Elena. Hello, Alba. Hello, Jose. Hello, Patricia. Hello, Ovidio. Welcome, Laura. Hello, Dalila. Hello, Tamar. Welcome, Hello. Thelma. Welcome back, guys. Hello, I teacher. Hope... Good evening. Hey, good evening. I hope that everybody had a very good day. Today is Wednesday. We are two days away from finishing the module. Uh, who can tell me what information do you remember about yesterday's class? What do you remember about yesterday's class? We were talking about um, the was, where, uh -huh. WH question. That is correct. Can you give me an example? Can you give me an example with um, what? For, uh, for example, um, where were you born? Um, I, when is your birthday? birthday? When is your birthday? When is your birthday? Okay, all right. Um, if you could say, uh, when were you born? That's another one. When were you born? When was your birthday? Okay, can you give me another example? Can somebody give me another example? From yesterday's class, an example I from- how was? How was your weekend? Mm -hmm. How was your weekend? Very good. That is correct. That's another one. Good, good. All right. Somebody else? Somebody else? Thank you, Gabriela, for your participation. Thank you. Somebody else? Okay. Another example from yesterday's class. Uh, teacher, for, for example, improvement. Uh-huh. Uh, when work the is the wrong. Okay, okay. Uh thank you. Could you give me an example with a WH question? WH question. Somebody give me an example with a WH. Okay, Guadalupe. Guadalupe. Guadalupe, levantó la mano. Yes. Sí, like, un ejemplo, WH, ¿verdad? Ajá, ajá. Entonces sería, where were you last night? Okay, where were you last night? Very good. Very good. Where were you last night? Thank you. That is correct. Teacher, uh, for example, where mm -hmm. were you studying? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Repeat, repeat. Where were you studying? Okay. Where do you study or where, where did you? you study which one is it where do you study or where did you study which one did. is correct where did uh -huh. uh, si quieres you preguntar study. a donde estudias you're gonna say where where do you study? ¿A dónde estudias? 
And a donde estudiaste es where did you study? So it depends. It depends. Uh -huh. All right. Uh, yes, Daniela, give me an example. Who were your teacher, the last model? Okay. In that case, we can say who was who was your teacher in the last module. Y si es plural, sería who were your teachers in the last module. That's plural. Who was singular? Who were plural? Thank you. Yes, Jose Antonio. What were you doing last night? What were you doing last night? Perfect. Yes, Guadalupe. Hola, Liz. Eh, sí, veo que tiene la mano levantada. Tiene una... Ah, no, no, quizá. Olvidé bajarme, quizá. Oh, ok. Sorry. Eh, that's ok. ¿Alguien más que quiera dar otro ejemplo? Somebody else? Another example. Laura, José Luis, Dalila. Uh, teacher, uh, for example, what is your mother? Ok. Uh, repeat, please. Is what is your mother? What is your mother? What is your mother? Uh -huh. Ahí que quiere preguntar. Eh, eh, digamos, este, digamos, este, I like movies. Ah, ¿qué le gusta a tu mamá? Sí. Okay, ahí sería what. Does what does your mother like? What does your mother like? Yeah, you said yeah. She likes movies. Good. Okay. Excellent. Thank you. All right. Very good, guys. Um, at this moment, does anybody have any questions? Does anybody have any questions at this moment? Somebody? No, teacher. No. Uh, que quería dar un ejemplo. No okay. Sé si. Yes, okay. Uh, where, where did you learn English language? Okay, excellent. Excellent. Where did you learn the English language? That is a good question. That is okay. a very good question. Where did you learn the English language is correct? Okay, uh, for the next activity, we're gonna look at using did, was, and were. Please listen to the video and take notes. Listen to the video and take notes. Escuche. Hi everyone. In this class, you'll learn to ask and answer Todos language questions with did. Yes. 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 Additionally, okay. you'll practice a conversation which illustrates how this topic is used in a real life setting. Let's get started by listening to a conversation title, Where Did You Grow Up? Let's listen and practice. So Chuck, where did you grow up? I grew up in Texas. I was born
Eh, se trabó el video, teacher. Uh, give me a second, guys. I don't know if it's my VPN or if it is the platform. Give me just a second. I can't see what it is. Uh, my VPN is off. Yeah, that's what it is, VPN. Okay, let me turn off. of VPN. Okay, one more time. Can everybody hear? Share. Which illustrates how this topic is used in a real life setting. Let's get started by listening to a conversation title, Where Did You Grow Up? Let's listen and practice. So Chuck, where did you grow up? I grew up in Texas. I was born there too. And when did you come to Los Angeles? In 1990. I went to college here. Oh, what was your major? Drama. I was an actor for five years after college. That's interesting. So why did you become a hairstylist? Because I needed the money. And I love it. Look, what do you think? Well, uh... Now, let's analyze how to form questions with did, was, and where. Where did you grow up? I grew up in Texas. When did you come to Los Angeles? I came to Los Angeles in 1990. Why did you become a hairstylist? Because I needed the money. How old were you in 1990? I was 18. What was your major in college? It was drama. How was college? It was great. I would like to point out that the key to understanding this topic is to not get confused with the following question. When do I use did? And when do I use was or where? You must remember the following. You will use was or where whenever you need to ask something related to the verb be. And you will use did for all the rest of the verbs in English. Now let's analyze the questions and answers. We've already covered both of these topics. What we're doing now is presenting them together hoping that it's not confusing or difficult. So, let's start with questions with did. When forming questions in the past tense with any verb that is not the verb to be, we can follow this formula. WH word plus did plus subject plus verb in the present plus complement. This is the case of our first three questions. Where did you grow up? When did you come to Los Angeles? Why did you become a hairstylist? First, we're going to add a WH word, where. Then we will include the auxiliary verb to form the question in the past, did. After that, we need to add the subject, you. Next, we include the verb in the present tense, grow up. Finally, we can add a complement. In this case, there is no complement. Towards the right-hand side of this chart, you can see how these questions are answered. If you notice, the verbs change to the past tense now because we're no longer adding an auxiliary verb. Let's move on to asking questions in the past tense 
with was or where. We will use this structure whenever we want to ask something using the verb to be. We can't say the following. Did you were a good student? This is incorrect. To form questions in the past using was or where, we can follow this formula. WH word plus was or where plus a subject plus a complement. Let's break down an example from the chart. What was your major in college? First, we need to add the WH word, what? Then we need to add was or where. After that, we include the subject, your major. Finally, we need to add a complement and a question mark at the end. In college. Now it's your turn to practice making WH questions with did, was, and where. Practice making similar questions such as the ones on this chart. But now focus on asking them about yourself or your family. After you finish this activity, share your work in our discussion forums. Right. Let's in go ahead and take a look Let's at the first example. Let's get started by listening to a conversation Let's titled, Where Did the You Grow Up? Let's practice pronunciation for this conversation. So Chuck, where did you grow up? I grew up in Texas. I was born there, too. Can everybody see? Yes. Okay. Yes, yes teacher. Yes. Let's, teacher. Let's, let's listen to the pronunciation. So, Chuck, where did you grow up? So, so, so Chuck, Chuck where, where did, did you grow, grow up? up? I grew up in Texas. I was born there, too. And when I, I grew up, up in Texas, I was born there, too. And when did you come to Los Angeles? And when, and when did you come to Los Angeles? Angeles? In 1990. In 1990. I went to college the, here. I went to college, to college here. here. Oh, what was your major? Oh, oh, oh. what's your, your major? Drama. 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 I was an actor for five years after college. I was an actor for five years after college. That's interesting. That's, That's interesting. interesting. So, why did you become a hairstylist? So, so why did you become, why become a hairstylist? Because I needed the money. Because, because I needed the money. Needed the money. And I love it. And I love it. 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 Look, what do you think? Look, Look, what do you think? think? Well, uh, well, well, uh, um, we fail. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, man, that's incredible. That is uh, ugly. <laughs> what do you think? Are you serious? <laughs> Are you serious? <laughs> Uh, all right. Um, does anybody have any questions about the pronunciation or about the meaning of this vocabulary? Questions? Yes, teacher. Hi, I, Elena. The pronunciation, the, let me see, please, the print. Hey, I shared the image in the WhatsApp. When did you come to Los Angeles? In 1990. Ah. I went to college. Yeah, they were, they were highly split, split. I don't know how. Hair yeah. stylist. Hair oh, stylist. Hair Estilista. Hair stylist. Hair stylist. Hair stylist. Hair stylist. Uh -huh. Hair stylist. Okay. 
Thank you. Hair stylist. Good. Thank, thank you for your question. Another question? Another question? Anybody? Teacher, what Hi. is grow up? Grow up is um, where did you grow up? ¿A dónde creciste? Where did you grow up? So recuérdense que where did you grow up y where were you born no es lo mismo. Where were you born es a donde naciste. Where did you grow up es a donde creciste. We can say grow up in the company, for example. Grow up in the company. Um, escalate. And the and the promotion. Promotion. Uh -huh. Promotion. Yeah. Or promote. Yeah. Like yeah. development. You could say uh I was promoted. I was promoted to supervisor. Yeah, I was promoted to supervisor. You can say that. Okay. Uh -huh. Or you can say uh, I have I have grown I have grown in the company. Yeah. Okay. In the future I will grow grow up. Grow up is not really no. a uh, grow up lo puedes decir así. Hey grow up. Right, lo puedes decir de esa manera diciéndole, hey, madura, hey, grow up, right, mm -hmm. en ese contexto sería, hey, madura, eh, en el caso, digamos, in my case, eh, I was born in San Salvador, yo nací en San Salvador, eh, I grew up in Houston, Texas, yo me crecí o me crié en Houston, Texas, I grew up. In Texas, right? So, el, el grow up o grew up es más que nada, o tú quieres decir, yo me crecí con el fútbol. I mm -hmm. grew up with soccer. Ok, si lo puedes decir en ese sentido. Y en un contexto, digamos, de que le estoy mencionando a alguien que yo quiero crecer en un cierto lugar, en compañía o algo, sería siempre grow up, pero con los features, I will. Eh, no, ahí sería solamente grow. Ah, oh, ok. Uh -huh. Yo quiero crecer en esta empresa. I mm -hmm. want to grow in this company. Ahí sería así. Para empresas okay. usaríamos grow. Ok, thank you. O digamos que le dices a tu novia, quiero crecerme viejo contigo. I want to grow old with you. Oh. Ok, I want to grow old with you. Okay. <laughs> Hoy se le dio a mi esposa. <laughs> yeah, sí, así se dice. I want to grow old with you. Yeah, okay. Yeah, thank you. All right, good job, guys. ¿Otra pregunta? ¿Otra pregunta? Teacher, disculpe, ¿podría repetir la pronunciación no de grow up, sino de la siguiente frase? Cuando Chuck dice I grew, no sé si cómo se pronuncia. Uh, grow up. I grew up. Grew. Grew up. Grew up. Grew up. Grew up. Grew up. Grow up. Grew up. Okay. Grow up. Thank you, teacher. Is, uh, simple present. Grew up is simple past. Copy. Thank you, teacher. Thank you. Okay. Okay, guys. Um, I would like for us to work in pairs for a couple of minutes, and I would like for you to practice. In this conversation, uh, I shared the conversation in the WhatsApp group, and also you can uh, share your screen with your classmates. 
If you have any questions, please raise your hand and I will come help. Entonces, no sé cómo quieren eh, que nos dividamos la conversación, si queremos ser parejas primero y luego repetirlo o, o una frase cada uno. Si gusta, nos repartimos, no sé si. Nos repartimos y hacemos viceversa. Este, nos cambiamos así de pareja. Ah, oh, vale. ¿Cómo no están? Quiero ver. Ustedes dicen quién es empieza. Ay, vean, como ustedes quieran. Ok. Entonces, no sé, empieza usted, eh, Daniela, y sigo yo, Melissa y yo. Ah, ok. Yo soy Melissa, entonces. ¿Eh? Bye. Dice: So, Shock, where did you grow up? I grew up in Texas. I was born there too. And when did you come to Los Angeles? In 1990, I went to college here. Oh, what was your major? Drama. I was an actor for five years after college. That's interesting. So why did you become a hairstylist? Because I needed the money and I love it. Look, what do you think? Well, um, interesting. Interesting. Oh, le cayó un rayo a la pobre muchacha. Vaya, ahora le tocaría a Gabriela Noemí y a Joana, ¿verdad? Ah, sí, también está Guadalupe. Ah, Santo Guadalupe también está, cierto. ¿Qué se no une en quién, otra? ¿Quién, ir, ¿Quién quiere hacerlo conmigo? ¿De las dos? Con Joana, no sé. Ahí como usted quiera, no sé si usted ah. empieza o yo. Gabriela, usted comienza y sigue, Joana. Usted lo ha dicho, José. <risa> ok. So, chap, where do you grow up? Grow up? I grew up in Texas. I was born there too. And when did you come to Los Angeles? In nineteen night, I went to college here. Oh, what was your major? Drama. I was an actor for five years after college. That's interesting. So, why do you become a hairstylist? Because I needed the money and I love it. Look, what do you think? Well, uh, pinch. <laughs> Ahora alguien que lo haga con Santo Guadalupe. No sé quién quiere hacerlo. Voy a practicarlo más yo. Yo lo voy a hacer con Santa. Vale. Ok. 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 ¿Seguimos eh, o, o van los dos? No, vamos. Los otros voy, voy por la compañera. Voy a empezar. Voy a empezar. Okay. Okay. Ah, no. ah, no, compañera, comience usted después. Ok, yo empiezo. 
Uh, so, where did you grow up? I grew up in Texas. Te Texas. Texas, perdón. I was born there too. And when did you come to Los Angeles? In 1990, I went to college here. Oh, what was your major? Drama. I was an actor for five years after college. That's interesting. So why did you become a hairstyle? Because I needed the money and I love it. Look, what do you think? Well, um... Um, vaya, ahora, si gusta, intercambiamos. Este, voy con Laura. Okay. Y, y Elena, Elena con Sabrina. Okay, okay. go ahead. <clears throat> eh, so shock, shock era verdad. O oh, shook. <clears throat> sí. Shock. Uh -huh. Shock. Okay. So shock. Where did you grab up? Grab. I grew up in Texas. Texas. I was born there too. And when did you come to Los Angeles? Angeles. In 1990, I went to college here. Oh, what's, uh, what's your major? Drama. I was an actor for five years after college. Uh, All right, guys, it's uh, time to take the attendance. I'm going to go ahead and uh, take the attendance. I would like for you to please uh, say present when I call your name. Vamos a esperar que regresen todos. Faltan varios todavía. Okay, I think that's everybody. Yes, that is everybody. Thank you. Okay. Uh, let me have number one. Number one, Alba. Present teacher. Perfect. Alba. Alba. Good job. Today is the 14th. Alba present. Number two, Alison. Alison, number two. Absent. Number three, Andrea. Present, teacher. Good job. Carlos. Present, teacher. Excellent. Claudia Constante. Claudia Constante. Claudia Constante. Eh, teacher, creo que ella dijo que no iba a estar. Creo que mandó un mensaje a, a la, al Zoom, a la plataforma. Ok. Sí, que dijo que iba a estar de oyente. Ah, oh, ok. Eh, Claudia Constante, right. Vamos a ver. Ok. Okay, thank you. Uh, the next one is Claudia Escalante. Claudia. 
Claudia Escalante absent. Okay. Dalila. Present teacher. Thank you, Dalila. Daniela. I'm here, teacher. Very good. Diana. Present. Awesome. Delmi. Present teacher. Thank you. Elena. I'm here, teacher. Very good. Uh, Gabriela Ramirez, absent. Gabriela Orellana. Present teacher. Awesome. Hazer. Hazer. Absent. Jefferson. Present teacher. Very good. Joanna. Present. Thank you, Joanna. Jose Montes. Present teacher. Very good. Jose Rodriguez. Present teacher. Excellent. Then we have Jocelyn absent. Kevin. Present teacher. Awesome. Crisia. Present teacher. Good job. Laura. Present teacher. Very good. Miguel. Present teacher. Thank you. Ovidio. Present teacher. Awesome. Pamela. Pamela is absent. Este Ovidio está conectado. Eh, sí, Ovidio le puse present. Sí, le puse present. Thank you. Thank you. Eh, Pamela absent. Patricia. En el chat puso present. Ok. Patricia Yamilet, present teacher. Good job. Um, Sabrina. Present teacher. Very good. Guadalupe. Present teacher. Good job. Tamar. Present teacher. Excellent. Thelma. Present teacher. Awesome. Okay, good job, guys. Thank you. All right. Now, for this activity, what I want you to do is I want you to write a similar conversation over here at the bottom in the discussion forum. Eh, puede ser un beauty salon. Si usted quiere hablar de un beauty salon, eh, puede ser en un taller de carros. Si quiere hablar sobre eso. O it can be eh, maybe in a department store o de compras en el super o en un, una boda, un happy birthday, whatever, whatever. Eh, exchanging personal information. Any questions? Any questions? No teacher. No, no, All right. No. Vamos a cambiar grupos. Ready? Let's go.
ustedes me dicen que Ajá. no le cambiemos, este, o sea, sí le vamos a cambiar, pero no mucho para poder tener la conversación completa. Si no, ve Ajá. aquí está Así el como teacher. dijo el teacher, que sí, ahí está como que él dijo que, que en un salón de belleza. Ajá, puede ser en otra cosa, pero ¿sí, ¿cuánto tiempo tenemos? Pregunto. About ten minutes. Va. Mm, ya, pues puede ser parecido y solo ponemos como que la información de nosotros. Por ejemplo, ponemos la información de que crecimos en, en bueno, por lo menos yo en Santa Ana, no sé, alguien más. Voy a compartir pantalla. Ahí está. ¿Es de Santana? ¿O creció allá? Las dos cosas. Ah, mi papá es de Santana. Ah, de veras, qué chido. Sí, mi papá. 2020. 20, I went to college here. Igual, ¿qué es lo que estudió? Oh, what? What was your... Mayor, ah, no sé, un accountant, por ejemplo, un engineer, no sé, hagamos ahí. Yo digo que lo podemos adaptar. Ok, ¿quién va a compartir? Yo, yo creo que ella estaba dando las ideas. ¿no? <risa> sí. Excelente. Y lo, y, lo, y, lo, y lo tenemos que postear, o no, lo hacemos, ¿verdad? No sé. Eh, sí, sí. Se puede, o sea, lo escribimos. Quien lo, ah, quien lo haga lo puede postear bien sola. Para que ella lo haga sola. No sé quién va a compartir. Si gusta, yo comparto. Ok. Nairi, Nairi. When do you... Sería, when do you from, ¿dónde está? O, ¿cómo sería? También podemos empezar con, when do you start beauty salon? Y que responda, I started this beauty salon with my friends. No sé, algo así. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. ¿Puede? Uh -huh. Ah, este. Hoy no, gracias. Ajá, yo, yo lo que estaba pensando era esa, por ejemplo, hace cuánto o cuándo empezaste tu salón y podría decir, I was, este, no, yo empecé, I started eh, hace dos meses, por ejemplo. Ajá. Uh -huh. uh -huh. ¿Y a dónde lo vamos a escribir? ¿En la plataforma? ¿A dónde? Wendy. Sí. When did you start your salon? Sí, lo tienen que escribir en la plataforma, abajo. Ah, ok. Gracias, Tich. Sí, para que lo vayamos leyendo, eso es lo que estaba pensando. ¿No puede deslizar para así abajo e ir escribiendo del video? No sé si se le hace difícil porque está en el teléfono. Quiero ver si puedo. Ah, sí, este a mí se me hace difícil cómo se ha compartido, pero este a donde se te puede escribir es un, hay un lapicito que sale acá, no sé si se puede escribir. O en el chat de nosotros, digamos, por ejemplo, acá. Este, el mío se, se mira. Sí, se ve. 
Vaya, entonces empezaríamos. When you're... Así iniciaríamos, digamos. Y podría responderle a start started to moon. Algo. Y ahí podríamos pon ponerle este y, eh, dónde está ubicado. ¿A dónde lo está escribiendo? No me parece a mí. Este, no se ve mi, mi pantalla. Yo solo veo las, la mía, pero no la suya, no la veo. Está compartiendo también, quizás, por eso no. Ajá, quizás por eso. Yo ahí en el chat, eh, ¿por qué no lo ponemos en el chat? Porque así vamos escribiendo en el chat y después lo copiamos a la plataforma cada uno. No sé qué dice. Ah, vaya, ah, pues voy a escribir ahorita lo que tengo. Ok. O podemos ver también ah. así. ¿Cómo dice? Eh, podemos también incluir, como estamos hablando con lo propósito pasado, en, en tal año de que trabajas tú. Sí, sí. Vaya, está bien. Aquí puto. Who's going to share screen, dice. Puedas compartir, pueda compartir la pantalla, puso el teacher. Ok, voy a ver si puedo compartir. Por favor, compañera, si ¿sí están amables. Y, y este quiero ver eh, sí se puede ver verdad yo creo que sí quiero ver sí hoy sí hoy sí compañera ah ok eh, ya puse algo ahorita en el chat este que le pregunta Mario a Harry by the way dice what do you work por cierto en dónde dónde trabajas y ahí María le dice, yo trabajo desde hace seis años. No sé si le parece bien. Desde, o sea, está mencionando ahí la respuesta en el tiempo pasado. Sí. Sí, sí me parece. By the way, este... Sería... What do you work? Entonces, este, María le responde, yo trabajo en la sala de belleza, creo que así es, hace seis años. Hace seis años. Sería, where do you work? ¿Cómo? Where do you work, ¿Dónde, dónde trabajas ah, tú? Ah, perdón, sí. Where do you work, tiene razón. Yo trabajo en un salón de belleza hace seis años. Eh, aquí voy a mandar, no sé si es la respuesta. I work in a beauty salon six years ago. ¿Te parece eso? I work in a beauty salon six years ago. 
Sí, yo creo que está correcta. Nos esperemos. I think I work in a prison. Así. Jury Salon Six Years Ago. O también Ajá. o también puede poner I was um, still a stylist for five Ajá. years. Y yo tengo una pregunta. ¿El work iría work en pasado o así? No llevaría el ed. Sí, verdad. Hay worker, ¿verdad? No, porque también es presente, porque estamos hablando que, o sea, está trabajando desde hace seis años, no trabajó. Ah. Sí, sí. Sí, yo, eh, dice ella, yo trabajé en un, yo trabajo, perdón, en un salón de belleza Ajá. desde hace seis años. Ah, Ajá, entonces sí, sí. Sí, uh -huh. creo que sí sería bien así. Uh -huh. No sé qué, qué ella le podría preguntar y tú en qué estás trabajando. Ah. Eh, pero aquí qué le ponemos en vez de what do you think lo vamos a poner do you like it lo vamos a poner porque digamos que te está vendiendo algo. Uh -huh. Miguel, pongámosle actually. Ponele que si sí te gustó. Actually, I, I do. Sería Beatice. Actually, I do. Correct. Bye. Ya terminamos. All right. Perfect. Practice. The pronunciation. Okay. Ahí, ahí tal vez lo va a ir bajando. Okay. Uh, espérate, espérame. Quiero, no sé si ustedes pueden entrar a la, a la página para que todos lo tengamos, no solo yo. Eh, lo voy a poner aquí. Group. Group. Pongámosle grupo 1. Y ya saben que el que dice grupo 1, ese es el de nosotros. Uh -huh. Ok. Lo voy a enviar para que le tomen captura o lo tengan, no sé. Vaya, sí, porque mm, ahorita Así no puedo va. entrar a la plataforma. Vaya. No, pero no me gusta que aparezca así. Ah. Es que siempre aparece así, fíjate. Ya es como algún tipo de... Lo voy a dar en editar. Ok. Ahí está. Eh... ¿Y si lo mandas al chat? No. Ah, sí, de, de, de WhatsApp. Uh -huh. Vamos a cancelar. Ok. Ok, este, voy a ver si puedo entrar de mi celular. O... Sí, esperen un ratito. Ok. All right, let me have two volunteers, two volunteers that would like to read the conversation. Who wants to participate? Who wants to read the conversation? Two volunteers, two volunteers to read the conversation.
Uh, Daniela, are you ready with your team to read the conversation for the class? Sí, teacher, solo voy a mandar eh, al chat lo que tienen que decir, porque yo lo tengo. Okay. All right. All right, thank you. Hey, Carlos Amaya, thank you. Thank you, Carlos David. Sí, sí, teacher. Este, no sé, estuve con Ovidio, con Andrea, con okay. Delmi. Ok, go ahead. Practice. En el grupo mandé el WhatsApp en la conversación. Tal vez me entienden la letra. Ok. Ok. Go ahead, Daniela. Ya vimos el suyo. Go ahead. We're going to have Daniela. Ok, no sé quién lo va a hacer conmigo. <laughs> Eh, ¿Quién está Miguel en su Miguel o Miguel o Kevin o cualquiera de ellos. Yo okay. puedo. Okay, okay, Kevin. Kevin. Okay. okay, Kevin, go ahead. Ah, pues yo soy Miguel, Kevin y vos sos vos. <laughs> Vaya. So, Kevin, where did you grow up? I grew up in San Salvador. I was born there too. And when did you become to San Juan o Pico? In 1919, I went to college here. Oh, give me oh. one second. Well, give me one second. Uh, did you say when did you become here or when did you come here? When to? Daniela? Ahorita, teacher. Solo que no encuentro la... Uh -huh. Ahí sería, when did you come here? When did you come here? Uh -huh. Correct. Come to San Juan o Pico. Okay, dice, and when did you come to San Juan o Pico? Sigo lo otro, perdón. Sí, sí, sí. Oh, okay. Oh, what, what was your major? No, sé no, no, the day in 2020. Oh, okay, okay. I went to to college San Juan o Pico. In San Juan o Pico. In. I went oh, to okay. college in San Juan o Pico. I went to college in San Juan o Pico. Okay. Oh, what was your mayor? Design. I was a graphic design for two years after college. Designer. What? Graphic designer. Oh, oh sorry, sorry. Uh -huh. I was a graphic designer for two years after college. That's interesting. So why did you become a sealer? Because I needed the money and I love it. Do you like it? Actually, I do. <laughs> All right. Excellent work. Excellent work. Good pronunciation. Very imaginative. Um, I love cells. I love cells. It's my favorite uh, doing cells. All right, guys, we're going to go ahead and uh, stop right here. I got to go. I got another class. See you guys tomorrow. Tomorrow is the last day. So good night and enjoy. Bye-bye. Bye, teacher. Bye. Bye, you. Bye, Bye. 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 Bye, teacher. Bye, teacher. Good night. Good night. Good night. Bye.